Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I'm a licensed counselor here in the state of Michigan and owner and operator of In Progress Counseling. Today we're going to talk about the link between two words and it's this link that really is so imperative when we think of behavior change, when we think of the ability to reduce anxiety by skill building. It's such an important idea to take these two pieces and hold them together and that is the word trust and the word confidence. When we are not trustworthy, we will not be confident in what we do, or at least there's not accurate confidence going on. Trustworthiness and confidence hold hands with one another. And what that means is action is what's going to get us both trustworthiness in our story and confidence in our story. So let me run it out for you. If I wake up on a Monday and I say to myself, I'm going to work out four times this week, but not today. And then I wake up on Tuesday and I'm like, I'm seriously going to work out four times this week, but not today. And then I get to Wednesday and Wednesday's busy. And by Thursday, I forgot. And by Friday, I might go work out, but I don't have time in the rhythm of my week anymore to prove myself trustworthy to my intention. Intention is kind of this ideal we set for ourselves, but intention is boo. It doesn't mean anything if the behavior doesn't align with it. When intention and behavior align, we build trust in our follow through. We build trust in our execution. We build trustworthiness in our story. When we have that going on, we have momentum in that direction, we will gain confidence. So let's take that same situation and let's run it out. Instead of me coming to the end of my week ticked off at myself, hey, I didn't do the things I wanted. Let's say I got up on Monday and I went to the gym. And I got up on Tuesday and I went to the gym. And then by Thursday when I went again, it was my third time. And by Saturday, I've done my fourth time. I've proven myself trustworthy in that story, which is going to give me confidence in the congruence between my intentions and um, my behaviors. Incongruence will destabilize us. I want to believe the best about myself, but I don't actually trust myself because I don't follow through on my intentions because the behaviors are misaligned or the behaviors aren't executed. Guys, it's a problem. Trustworthiness in our story matters, not just for us personally. Can I handle things? Will I show up for myself? Will I show up for others? Will I show up well? But trustworthiness is going to be this um, message that we send to others. If we are not being trustworthy, others will pick up on it. They'll say, hey, wait a second, this person says this thing, but does it this way. That seems incongruent. They're probably not the source I want to trust. And then when other people are skeptical of us, we get skeptical of us. It's this whole vicious cycle that can be at play. And it comes down to congruence between our intentions and our behaviors. I state what I'm going to do. I show up in that and I prove that I am trustworthy in my intentions. Now there's a whole lot of science about how much uh, should I be or how often should I set new goals? How long do I need to practice those goals? Um, how much stretching should I do to reach towards a new goal? And we can dive into all of that. And that's kind of the area I'm camping out right now and trying to develop some language around so I can share other videos about this. But what it comes down to is don't set the goal if you're not going to show up because the only thing you're doing is betraying your own trust and confidence in what you're capable of. So yes, intentions. We want to set intentions. But when we set intentions, it's just a dream if there's not an actual action plan there. And if you take the time to create an action plan, you have to show up in it. You have to do the behaviors and the repetitions you've committed to or you're not going to have trust in your story, you're not going to have trust in your actions, and that will impede confidence. It's the way it works. If you really wanna prove something to yourself, if you wanna start a new chapter, if you wanna orient in a new direction, you pick a goal, you show up in the behaviors that align with that goal, you build trust in your ability, and you grow in confidence in your capabilities in life. They are inextricably linked. If you mistrust yourself, you're not going to have confidence, or at least you shouldn't have confidence because you're not trustworthy. We need to really double down on the understanding that belief in our ability to change is paramount. The action around our belief in our ability to change is the piece that will help us gain trust and help us grow in confidence. Those two pieces I want you to digest today. Are you, yet, or are you trustworthy yet? If not, how can we get you towards trustworthiness? Because if you're able to do that, you will grow in the confidence in the rhythms of your life and in the callings that you feel are a part of your life.